Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video, which is going to be one of my favorite topics, one of my favorite brands. We're talking Lisa Eldridge lipsticks today. I'm gonna to be sharing my top 10 across all of her formulas, all of her launches, from the oldest to the newest and everything in between, my all time top 10 lippies, almost every single one of these is in stock right now, which is a phenomenon, the likes of which we may never see again. A perfect storm, if you will. In fact, the 10th one is even available in a certain place, and I'll fill you in on that. So without further ado, let's get started. So first up, let's talk about Velvet Affair. Possibly, I don't know, I don't know. Possibly my favorite nude from Lisa Eldridge. When this came out, it revolutionized nudes for me. Because previously, I feel like so many nudes were just too light for me, especially in summer when I'm more tanned, they just didn't suit me, they washed me out, I had to use them with a liner, and then Velvet Affair came along, and she was just perfect, and she still is. One of my absolute all-time favorite nudes. I wear it all year round, but it especially comes into its own when I'm more tanned in summer, because it is a richer, more autumnal almost nude. I find it so beautiful, so unique, and just so perfect in that incredible creamy matte formula of the velvets. I'm just obsessed with it. And it's been with me for a long time now. And yet I love her still as I did the first day we met. It's been a long time affair with Velvet Affair for me. Next up, one of the luxuriously lucent shades that I absolutely love. This is Kitten Mischief. I love that this is like Lisa's favorite lipstick. Like when she first released this shade, she kind of said that she felt bad because she essentially created her own perfect, your lips but better everyday shade like for herself, which being honest, it's your own brand. I mean, that's exactly what I would be doing. <laughs> no apologies necessary. And also, let's face it, it's become a lot of our favorite nudes as well. This is the easiest going, I think, from all of these that I'm gonna talk about today. It's the perfect, everyday, inoffensive, never too much, very soft, subtle, your lips, but better, perfect shade. Again, that luxuriously lucent formula is so comfortable, so easy going. You can build it up as much or as little as you want and get the most natural wash of barely there anything, or build it up and get quite a lot of color and more of a like a medium opacity. Beautiful, so creamy, so comfortable, so light. The juiciest finish absolutely love it. Next up, let's talk about one of her insanely saturated formulas. So this is another matte formula, a very creamy matte formula. And of course, as you might have guessed from the name, it's insanely saturated, a huge amount of pigment in this formula. And one of my absolute favorite bright matte shades, this is Strawberry Shock from her latest release. Such a unique bright red. I guess it is a bright sort of orangey red, but there's just something a little bit different about it. I just can't quite put my finger on it. Just calling it an orange red just doesn't quite seem to like tick the box for me. It's just so pretty and there's something really unique about it. It's obviously incredibly bright, but I also find it really super wearable and just such a pretty bright summer perfect shade. Next up we have Je Ne Sais Quoi, which is from her most recent launch, another luxuriously lucent lipstick. And this is just the perfect shade if you want something that is a bright summery color, but it's not bright. It's not garish, it's not over the top, it's not intimidating, it's very easy to wear, very, very gentle and subdued, but it gives you the color in such an easygoing way. If you want bright lipsticks, if you envy people who have neon, orange, juicy, pink, bright reds all year round, but you're just a bit color shy or those colors, super bright colors don't suit you. This is how you do bright in a wearable, soft, less frightening way. It's just, she absolutely nailed this. For people who want color but are color shy, you absolutely could not find a better place to start. Next up, we're going to talk about the one shade out of these 10 that might be difficult 
to get but I had to include it because it's one of my all time absolute favorite lipsticks and it is Go Lightly. Oh, I just die for this color. It's so beautiful, it's so unique. It's absolutely stunning, the perfect salmon pink with a bit of coral in there. I'm obsessed with the story behind this. I love that it's based and inspired on like one of Lisa's most treasured items in her historical makeup collection, but it's just so beautiful and modern at the same time. Although it's almost an antique shade, it's so pretty and feminine and the juiciest color on the lips. Now this one has been unavailable for the longest time and we've heard whisperings, we've heard promises, it's going to come back, it's going to be available at some time, but we've been waiting and waiting and waiting and where is she? So I have seen that this currently, Go Lightly, this shade is available at the moment in Lisa's pop-up store in Covent Garden in London. Obviously that's not going to be a trip a, a lot of people can make, especially if you're not UK based, but it is there. If you have a British friend who lives in London or you know someone who's going to the pop-up store, apparently at this moment you can buy Go Lightly at Lisa's pop-up and that is the most positive looking sign that she may be on the website one day again that I have seen. So keep your eyes peeled. Next up, one of my absolute favorites ever from Lisa or lipsticks in general is Atomic Cherry. <gasps> the juiciest like orangey lip ever. Perfect for summer. The most stunning, pretty, juicy popsicle looking lip. It is so, so pretty and juicy and bright, but wearable, so flattering. The perfect like holiday lip shade, absolutely love it. This is definitely, Atomic Cherry is like probably top three for me. I'm not in any way trying to rank these by the way, but that is definitely up there. Next up, another of the newest collection, Luxuriously Lucent formula is Meet Me in Berlin. <gasps> I've been crying out for some more nudes in the Luxuriously Lucent formula because a lot of the, like Kit and Mischief for example, in theory, yes, it's kind of a nude, but it also, you know, a lot of the nudes or sort of more wearable everyday shades are either pink or they're peachy or they're orangey leaning, whereas there are very few real classic nudes, especially in the Luxuriously Lucent formula. And here it came, Meet Me in Berlin is so, pretty a very unique nude for me really quite cool very 90s again love the story behind this lipstick if you watch lisa's reveal video such an amazing memory that she had from working on a shoot in berlin and just really inspired this lipstick this grungy like 90s shade really really flattering beautiful again another very autumnal shade i feel like this will be like it for me autumn winter when it comes to nudes <gasps> perfect now we all know that lisa is like the queen of color color theory she's just such an expert when it comes to finding colors unique shades nobody does it like lisa like how i don't understand how in this day and age in 2022 someone is bringing out lipstick colors that we have not seen before that are really different and unique and that we don't have anything like it she keeps on managing it somehow. I don't know how, she's so very clever. And the perfect example of how she does this is Velvet Cinnabar. <gasps> Such a unique shade that somehow works on so many skin tones. I don't even know how to describe this shade. Is it a red? Is it a brown? Is it a wine color? Is it a burgundy? I couldn't tell you. It's so unique and stunning and just really different to anything that I have yet incredibly wearable. I applied it here with it's like full opacity but dabbed on this is also very unique still and very wearable still. A very very different difficult to describe shade that I feel like looks good on every skin tone. I've seen this worn on fair skin tones, on super deep skin tones and it literally suits everybody and it's different it looks different on everybody as well depending on your skin tone a incredible creation very unique very different a complete standout for me next up one of her newest luxuriously lucent shades that shocked me i knew i wanted to pick this shade up but i don't know that i expected it to like rocket 
up the rankings and potentially be like my preferred go-to summer shade even over Atomic Cherry which I couldn't see that happening but this is Wonder Wheel oh my goodness it's stunning the reason it kind of surprised me that I loved it so much is because it's a pink I mean it definitely has a bit of a coral in there but it's a pink and wonder uh, atomic cherry sorry i feel like it they these two are sisters but atomic cherry is like the red orange and wonder wheel is the like pink coral they are similar but on the lips they do look quite different and i think you'll be able to tell that when you see them applied in this video on the lips wonder wheel is definitely much pinker on me on the lips than atomic cherry which looks much more orange so that's why i thought atomic cherry will remain my favorite but I flip in love Wonder Wheel it's so pretty and juicy and beautiful and it's exactly as Lisa described it this like popsicle shade that is just I mean you could not be that for summer I don't know how you improve on like the perfect summer lip when it comes to Wonder Wheel you could not do better it's perfect and the final lipstick and my 10 favorites in no particular order remember is Velvet Dragon. This is the shade I have on today. Another one of those incredibly unique shades that Lisa keeps on somehow coming up with. It's, I, I guess, I mean, again, I look at it and I think it's an orange, okay? But is it though, or is it a red? I don't know, I can't tell. Uh, again, such a strange shade that I didn't initially want to pick this one up because it looked so strange and I couldn't imagine how it was going to look on me. And then I went with it, I trust Lisa. When she says something's gonna suit me, I get it and I trust her and she is right every single time. She can be trusted. She produces colors that flatter us even if we think they aren't going to. And this looks stunning. And again, it's so different. Nothing else. I have a huge lipstick collection. I have nothing like Velvet Dragon. It's so different, unique. You can't quite place, you can't quite describe the color but it is so beautiful and it's summery because it's in that sort of red orange color family but it also is very autumnal and even like festive at the same time lots of these lipsticks that is the thing about them is that you kind of think when you see you know a pink or a coral oh okay well that's a spring summer shade but actually they somehow work across the board they are just so flattering and amazing no one does color like lisa what more can you say? So there you have it. Those are my top 10 lipsticks from Lisa Eldridge. Just the most incredible lineup. I mean, just trying to choose these was a job in itself. I can't even imagine what this process looks like for Lisa when she's creating these incredible lipsticks. So please, I beg you, tell me what your favorite shades are in the comment section down below. I'm desperate to know what everybody else's favorites are. Are there any that I'm missing that you think, Charlotte, what are you doing? Why have you not picked up these colors yet? I've got almost all of her lipsticks. I'm only missing a couple. I keep thinking I need to get Velvet Morning. I don't understand why I haven't purchased that one yet. It's like an orange red. It's right up my street, super bright. I don't know why I don't have it yet, but who knows, who, who can say? But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.